Hey, it's Rick here, and today I'm gonna to show you the Deviceware Detour. This is a case for the iPad Mini, and if you guys have seen those rotating style of cases where it kinda of inside the case does one of these numbers, uh, that's what this is, but there's a nice little surprise here in that they've improved upon that design. I never really used those cases before because they usually have this big open hole on the backside that exposes a great portion of your iPad. That's different on this one. I'm gonna show it to you in just a moment. Here's the slip sleeve that it comes in. It gives you some info about the case itself. Let me put my mini aside here just for a moment. The material this is made out of is a uh, faux leather material. So it looks like leather, feels like it, but it's not. Uh, so real lightweight, I will say. On the inside of this case, there's an insert that tells you a little bit about deviceware. Let's go ahead and remove that. And you will see this is a very soft microfiber, almost velvety-like material. And that's what I really like about the deviceware cases. They don't skimp on this interior. Very luxurious. I like it quite a bit. There's a couple of pockets here, and inside this one, you're going to get kind of this, uh, I don't want to call it a microfiber wipe. It's got some stiffness to it, uh, but it is a cleaning kind of square, if I will call it that. Tuck it away in there. And here's your polycarbonate shell. So I'm going to attempt to remove this because you can see as you turn it, you can give it a push, and it will slide right off of this kind of hooked point. A lot easier to do it if you're right in front of it. I'm doing it at an angle, so it's a little bit tougher. To put the mini in, start with this side. Usually you go with the buttons, but it's completely open there. So uh, I'm going to say start with this side, lay it in, and then snap it into place like you see me doing here. Very, very easy to do. Now, as I flip this around, you're going to see this is kind of where that hooks into that area there. And once you've got this seated here, the exposure point is no longer really exposed. I'll show you what I mean in just a moment here. Again, trying to align this at an angle uh, is a little bit tricky for me. Uh, it's a lot easier to do if you are right in front of this case. So I lift it up and do that. And then basically you're just gonna push this down and it will cinch right into place. And it's a lot easier to do if it's right in front of you. So pardon me guys, I'm taking it off and I just cinched it in and there you go. So. More difficult if you're shooting at an angle, but if it's right in front of you, it's not too tough. Now, it is in place. You saw it kind of snap in. I'm gonna close this up. And it does not have magnets to keep this front flap closed, so they use a strap that you see right here. Works just fine. You can flip it upside down. That front cover is not gonna open up. Let's take a look at it up close. You can see you've got some device wear branding. That's what your cover is going to look like. Here is your spine. Feels real good in the hand. This is what I like about this case. Remember, usually this style is a big opening here, not the situation here. And even if you kind of look in here, you only see the polycarbonate shell. So you don't have to worry about any exposure point of your mini whatsoever. Uh, let me get this out of the way for a moment here and show you there's your camera cut out just fine. Down along the bottom here, your speakers as well as your lightning port. Shouldn't have any issue with compatibility there of different type of connectors, should work just fine. And as we look along the side here, you can see your volume buttons as well as your rotation lock switch. Looks good there. And up along the top, everything is looking perfectly fine as well. Let's go ahead and open this up. It is going to utilize the sleep in the awake feature found in the mini. When you close it, it puts it to sleep. Open it up, it awakens it. Fold it back into book mode. That's what that's gonna look like. Adds a little bit of bulk there, uh, but nothing too terrible. And then here, of course, are your stand options. So first off, you can go just like this. And we get a stand mode right there. And then secondly, you've got another one right there. Now, the nice thing about this case, of course, is that rotation feature. There are kind of footers here, and that's going to help to stabilize it in this position. You can actually go into a third position right there in either one of these modes, uh, but your grooves are basically built in here as well as here. So great for FaceTime chat, maybe reading an ebook or something like that, or playing a game that kind of is in this particular viewing angle as well. I like this case quite a bit. Um, I am still really partial to the Deviceware Ridge as my daily use case. Uh, but you know what? If you're looking for the rotation feature in a case like this, you really can't go wrong with the Detour, especially considering it's the only one that has covered up the back. 
uh, where most of these have that big open hole. Oh, one other thing, if you're looking for a typing angle, that's pretty the pretty much the extent of it. So you are going to get a minor typing angle, nothing too major, uh, but it does exist there. It is the Detour. It is by Deviceware. I'm going to give this one a four and a half out of five. Uh, great case. They've taken a design and improved upon it for sure. I like it quite a bit. It is the Detour by Deviceware. It gets my four and a half out of five. If you guys have questions, comments, or feedback, as always, please feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I'll talk to you next time. Take care, everybody, and have fun.